Welcome, this is Pankaj Dube and in this session we are going to talk about software testing lifecycle. So all the activities or all the phases that comes between the testing activity is called software testing lifecycle phases. So there are almost seven types of testing phases that comes off, uh, into STLC. So what are those? Let's see. Uh, let's have a look of it one by one. So first one is SRS BRD CA review. SRS stands for software requirement specification. BRD stands for business requirement document and CA re stands for change request document. So once the these documents are created and a release has been planned, then these documents will be supplied to the testers. They'll go through it and they'll make a decision that what are the requirements that is need that needs to be uh, covered in the current release. And they'll start planning from their point of view. Well, this is not a specified testing phase that should or that must occur inside STLC but this is very crucial and important in order to start and in order to charge the testers to start their work. Next is test planning. So in test planning uh, what happens a document needs to be created by the test lead and all the requirements and all the strategies, uh, strategies and planning needs to be mentioned in that, that document. So I have created a template of test planning that we'll see later. Next phase is test designing. So in test designing what happens a tester designs the scenarios for uh, the requirement and after this scenario has been designed they will start writing the test cases and further test scripting. Next is test environment setup. So here what happens a different team test environment team, uh, team uh, supplies the all the newly implemented features in a testing environment in a dummy environment and they supply it to testers. And next phase is of test execution. So in test execution phase, what happens? A tester actually executes the test cases and they check that whether the actual result maps with the expected result or not. Next is defect tracking and reporting that we'll see later. And last one is test reporting where all the reporting will be done for the current release of the testing. What is test planning? So test planning uh, covers, uh, it's, it's a document which is created by the test lead and it covers some of the main features or some of the main points that needs to be included into the test planning document, which is requirement in scope. So all the requirements will be listed down there. Next is test strategy. So in this phase, we decide that what are the test methodologies that we had, have to follow in the test uh, of the current release and what are the tools that we need to select in order to work if there is any automation thing is required. Next is test environment as discussed earlier that there will be a dummy environment supplied to the testers by implementing all the newly introduced features and also the test data thing will be taken care in this phase. Next is team structure and roles and responsibilities. So there will be a chart of the team structure and uh, it will clearly define that what role is ha has assigned to him or to whom. Schedule and resources, there will be a timeline of all the phases that it should be uh, in test designing phase till this date to, uh, to this date and uh, so on for the other uh, functions or for other phases in STLC. Entry criteria and exit criteria, it will be covered like what are the things that we need in order to start a testing work like for entry criteria, test environment uh, supply is a must. And exit criteria, for the exit criteria, we need to write something like if I take an example, then uh, the exit criteria can be defined by putting at least 98% test results on the location. What are assumptions that in case if there are any requirement that has not been implemented by the test environment uh, setup team, in that case we can mark that as uh, it would come under assumptions and it will not be tested in this release, but it, it can be moved into the further release. And test metrics, it depends upon the priority of the test cases and the complexity of the test cases. It uh, clearly identifies that uh, one person or the one resource needs to execute that much test cases in a day or per hour. So I'll show you a document that I have created while it is not complete, but still you can follow it for the reference. So I have created with my name, uh, with Prelric name and here you can put your project name. Next is test plan document. It is just a format. So you can have a look of it and you can understand what is a test plan document. So after that I have written test plan document, version history and uh, further in table of contents all the points that I discussed earlier in my last slide will be covered. Introduction, objectives, requirement and scope requirements brief. Test strategy will cover testing types and testing tools, test environment setup, test schedule and timelines, control procedure, roles and responsibilities, team structure, schedule and timelines, entry, exit criteria, del deliverables, risk and acronyms. Okay, so next phase is of test designing. So what happens actually in this phase, 
once the requirement has been supplied the tester will start designing the scenarios like if there is any uh, newly introduced functionality that has been uh, implemented in the current release then first the uh, tester needs to design the scenarios for those newly introdu introduced features okay and which will be called scenarios next is to test those scenarios we need to write the test cases so test cases are something uh, to make sure that the project is working fine that the function is working fine and next is test scripting so what happens in test case scripting uh, in test case scripting like all these steps will be written there and what are uh, the prerequisites to execute those cases and what are the steps and for each step what is the expected result that needs to be delivered after the time at the time of test execution next is test environment setup so i discussed it earlier and after the test execution then defect tracking and management there is a different uh, there will be a different video for this uh, particular point defect tracking and, and management and uh, they will discuss the defect life cycle as well and in test closure activity will uh, we supply a document uh, to the stakeholders that what we have actually done in this current in this release so what it covers actually that what are the requirements that we have covered total valid bugs raised during the test release lesson learned process improvements that we are going to follow and what we learned during the last release types of testing performed that we uh, that testers has executed the type of test on the current release assumptions the list of things that we have skipped in the current release but will be passed to the next release and the overview so that that's it for the